What's up everybody? This is Dustin Jones with S3 Power Sports. We're out here at the 2018 Club BRP checking out some of the coolest stuff in the off-road industry. They brought in some resident experts. They got new rigs out. We get to give you the first look at all the new units. Let's go take a look around the showroom. Yeah, just fist bump me one time. Yeah. So right now, we get to talk to Matt Tantrum, Director of Design with BRP, came up with some of the coolest ideas out there, and he knows about the new Maverick Sport Max. Matt Tantrum. Dustin, how you doing, buddy? Great, buddy, how are you yeah. doing? Very good. So, right. one of the really exciting things that you got for this year, coming out. It's the new Maverick Sport Max. It's got a 1,000 R, 100 horsepower engine. You can see, basically, we went off the platform of the Maverick Sport, and we went to the Fora. We stretched it 30 inches, so it got a really good wheelbase. It's very comfortable. The other thing that we did is we've got the best in class for the rear occupants. I mean, it's, it's really, really comfortable. So when you want to take the family along for an adventure, this is really the vehicle that's going to be there, and it's, it's very capable. We added 2.5 inches to the vehicle on either side, so you've got a really, really roomy cockpit. This is a really good Good rig that's just an all-around good setup. It's got 60 inch wide, so really good suspension on it. It's got a hundred horsepower V-twin motor. The thing's comfortable in the cockpit. You can throw your family in it and go for an, a day of adventure. Exactly. Exactly. This is a great trail machine. And if you're gonna go through tight technical stuff, this is really the machine you want to have. And it's a very, very comfortable ride. And it's a fun little rig to ride, man. Like this little thing rips just like exactly. it is. Exactly. Exactly. It's great. And it comes with a ton of accessories right now. This one's got a lot of accessories on it but we've got over 200 right now. The customer, they can personalize to whatever they want to do. If they're going to go adventure riding, they're going to go out and do some aggressive trail riding, whatever, they're going to be able to set this vehicle up to exactly what they want to do. Sure. Put a winch on the front, put light bars on it, whatever you want to use it for. It's a great machine all around. Very, very versatile. Awesome, man. You've done a great yeah. job on this build and all the other builds, dude. Thank you very so much. I'm excited to look at the all rest right. of the stuff. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, man. Yep. Let's go check out the XMR Sport Maverick. So the XMR lineup in general is very exciting for us. We're from Louisiana, we're from the swamps. The mud riding is what we love, and these guys continue to drop cool rigs in the mud lineup. And so they just came out with the Maverick Sport XMR. Really slick little setup, man. The thing comes with good 30-inch tires already set up. It's got a winch in it. It's got high clearance A-arms. It's got like 15 inches of ground clearance. The same 1,000R motor that comes in so many of the rigs, that's a proven platform. This thing really gets down, man. And you talk about fun. We got to do some testing on this rig early on. It's that great little sport platform. It's really comfortable. Narrow body with all kind of protection for bouncing off whatever you want to hit. This thing will go. It is a good time. Let's check out some more XMR stuff. So one thing that they've been starting to use in a lot of the XMRs that's super nice is the smart lock technology. And so basically they've turned these things into full lock front differentials when you need them. So one of the really exciting rigs that they just dropped tonight is the Defender XMR Max. You can load it up with five of your buddies and y'all can go have a good time. This thing's got a relocated winch up high so you don't have to reach down in the mud, dig for your winch line, stretch it out, drag it out of the mud. This thing comes stock with high clearance A-arms, which is a super sweet feature. 30 inch tires, a directional V-tread pattern, flat tracking surface, and so it rides and drives really nice, but the things pull awesome. UHMW skid plates all the way down, so even though it's big, you can drag this thing down whatever you need to, and it will go. Snorkels all the way to the roof, air intakes, belt intakes, everything stays dry. You can take this thing deep, this one also has a smart lock technology front differential, which has performed amazing in the mud. We've fallen in love with this thing the more that we've used it, but we've got Casey Curry here, a specialist and resident expert in rock crawling, won the king of the hammers, won the Baja 1000, ultra four racer, dude's got it going on, Casey Curry. What's going on, man? How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man, how are you? Good, so I was trying to explain to them the smart lock front diff that they've got in the XMR. I know that you come from rock crawling. Tell them exactly how the front diff works and how well it does for you and your terrain. Uh, the smart lock is unbelievable. You know, the technology they put into it, it's got four different modes. So first, trail mode. You wanna go fast and you want that power to get to the wheel that's on the ground and get that power moving forward for turning in the sand, in the rocks, it really makes the thing drivable. Now, you get in that tight technical stuff and you really wanna get the power to the ground and you wanna make sure there's no tire slippage and you put it in rock mode, now, right away, it can turn on, when on deceleration, it's unlocked, and then you give it the gas, it gets progressively stiffer, and now you have that instant gratification of I'm locked up and ready to go. Now, you're stuck, you're bound up, now you can go to diff lock, it's like a spool. That you baby's can, locked up. Oh, it's locked up. 
So this thing's smarter than you and I as far as the torque sensitive, throttle position sensitive. It takes all these things into account when you're driving so that you don't get steering wheel feedback, Absolutely. but it still gets good traction. Yeah, it does it all in sight. You don't have to do anything. All you got to do is drive it as fast as you want to go and the power is going to be on the ground. Yeah, and so you race King of the Hammers a bunch of times. Yep. What are the advantages in like the way you crawl, the way you ride? You know, for me, I like going fast. So when I'm in the desert, I like having that power on both front wheels. And then when you get in the rocks, Dude, I want to be out there and I want to know that I'm not spinning tires. And at the King of the Hammers, we really put the thing to the test. I mean, the rocks are some of the hardest rocks in the world for all vehicles. I mean, it just shows you how impressive that front locker really it's is. It's amazing that y'all were able to finish that race with basically a factory car that you rolled out. That's exactly what it is. Small upgrades to pass safety requirements. Yep. But you took a stock X3 and finished the King of the Hammers. At stock axles, stock locker, stock belt, everything. Yeah, that's amazing. And so one of the other exciting things that they got that I know that you'll love, in fact, you were talking about getting one for your family ride, <laughs> is a new Maverick Sport XRC. So obviously it's a really good looking car. What all does this thing have that people would appreciate that does that kind of ride? At first, it's narrow. It's only 50 inches wide body. Then it's got a 64 inch wide wheelbase. So now you're getting the, the stability that you want. It's got an approach angle and departure angle that really is far from anything else. So this thing can go up vertical climbs and fall off anything and know that your tires are gonna be on the ground. It also is 15 inches off the ground all through the center. The A-arms really make this thing drive on the rocks at a nice, comfortable pace, and it really makes it a comfortable ride. As nimble as the thing is and as quick as you can get it around, the ground clearance, like where are the advantages of approach and departure angle? Yeah, you know, in the front of this thing, the tires are basically the furthest thing in the front. So when you get down on those steep climbs, this thing will actually drive out. Same climbing, this thing has basically nothing behind the rear axle. So when you're climbing up, Man, you can basically climb yourself up over backwards. There's yeah. really nothing back there. So now climbing those vertical climbs, you're really gonna get the forward momentum that you need. But it also has some unique features on the inside. The seats are more stood up than a Can Am Maverick. The visibility is unbelievable. You can see out right outside the tires or right there on both sides, you're stood up. So you've got a bunch of visibility. So now on those trails, there's no reaching up and staring out. This has everything. You sit in the seat, you sit comfortably with your seatbelt on and you know that everywhere you're gonna have visibility and you know where you're gonna go. It's ready to go. You don't have to do anything, especially with a smart locker. Saying that it's ready to go from Casey Curry right. is saying something. This dude's <laughs> been in some of the baddest off-road rigs, some of the gnarliest rock crawlers out there, and he says he can have fun in one of these, so. I need one. I'm ready. <laughs> Casey. Hey, thank, thank you, you very much. Always a pleasure. Thank you. So that's it, man. 2018 BRP Club. They got some crazy stuff going on, some new rigs that are awesome. There's no reason not to go out and get a new Can-Am. If you want to find out more about any of these rigs they got, go to canamoffroad.com. And all I can say is it's a good time to be riding a Can-Am.